helping couples all over mid-Missouri. Still want to hook up? Or at least trying to. Goodbye. Hook up or hang up. It's Cosmo and Lauren. This is the Y107 Morning Show. We're super excited here on Hook Up or Hang Up to welcome Jeremy in on the Silver Ball Arcade Bar Hotline. Jeremy, welcome to the show. Hey. Hey, how are you? Good, good morning. Good, 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 good. How are you? Uh, uh, pretty poorly, actually. <laughs> um, I, like I told you guys uh, on, on my email that uh, Tina still hasn't uh, called me back. She hasn't gotten in touch with me. It's messed up. So I, I'm turning to you guys. Okay. It is kind of messed up. I will agree. So let's let's just like start at the beginning. How did you meet her? Um, there's a coffee shop right around the around, around the corner from me. Um, I go there all the time, and all of a sudden there's this new beautiful girl there I'd never seen before, and that was her. We just started just started chatting, just normal chatting. It wasn't busy. Uh, it was just like two people having a conversation. There was no rush. It was great. Um, and, and she gave me her phone number, and we went on a date. Very old school and very cool. Yeah, I was going to say, there's there's no no dating app. There's no right, Zoom. Right, I heard no, no technology involved in that. I love it. Um, so your date, you went out, you said, what did you guys do for the date? Well, she invited me over to her place, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, she's really into wine, so she wanted to do an impromptu wine tasting. Uh, I'm not into wine, so I figured I'd try it. Uh, and it turned out it was a lot of fun. That's good. Yeah, and it's always kind of cool when you're yeah. willing to kind of like try something new. Yeah, that she really likes. I think that that would be a cool thing when someone's willing to do that. But now, what are you thinking? Did something bad happen? Like, did you have too much of the wine and do something or say something or or what? No, not really. I mean, everything seemed to be going great. Uh, she's a super nice person, um, and I really liked her whole vibe. She's sort of this, you know, she's a hipster. You know, minus the know-it-all thing, which is kind of cool. Um, so, I really liked her. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's, that's a great description, Jeremy. Yeah. Wow. That, okay. So, why do you think she's ghosting you? Do you have any kind of an idea for us? Um, I mean, I thought about it. And the only thing I could, I could think about is she had mentioned that she's going for her master's. Right. Um. And 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 I, I, maybe she doesn't have time for a relationship. I, I just don't know. But she's not letting me know what it is. So I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out, is it the Masters or is it me? Right. So I just, I don't want another relationship to break up. Uh, you know, I had one break up because they weren't ready to commit. And it's okay. just, I just want to know, I just want to know the facts. Well, That's yeah. It. And let's, I mean, we've gone on one date here. So let's don't, let's, you know, let's just see where things are at and call her. And get her side of this deal, man. Okay. And and, and um, maybe there's more wine tasting in your future. Who knows? Or a beer tasting. Or a beer tasting, okay. yeah. Okay, even better. Hook up or hang up. It's Y107. This is the morning show. It's Cosmo, and that's Lauren. She's Hi. over there. Uh, we talked Hello. to Jeremy. Again, super cool that uh, they just met at the coffee shop, right? There's no Tinder, no dating app, no anything. Yeah. Um, it was kind of chill for a little while, slow, and so they just kind of started talking. He asked for her number. She said, sure. Then they did a wine tasting back at her place. Yeah, so he was over at her house. He cannot think of anything as to why she's ghosting him, other than maybe she doesn't want to be serious right now. But eh, let's call her and uh, see what Tina has to say about why she's ghosting Jeremy. Hello? Hi, is this Tina? Yes, it is. Who's this? This is Cosmo and Lauren. We're the Y107 Morning Show. Can we record this call? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, we, we have a dating segment on our show, relationship segment on our show. We just want to ask you a couple questions uh, about your your time with Jeremy. Oh, okay. Okay, yes. It's making sense. I'm like, why are these people wanting to record me? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a dating segment on our show. and, and um, Yeah, yeah. We, we're not trying to be too super nosy, but... Just you like know. the just like kite, just the right amount of nosy <laughs> is what we're going <laughs> right, for. Here. Right, like yeah, so, <laughs> like my mother kind of nosy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, Tina, okay. this is your mother. How was your date? It, mom, it was fun. No, um, <laughs> no, it was it it was fun. We had uh, we had a good time in the beginning. Yeah, it was it was good. In the beginning, you had fun. So, what about the middle and the end? Um, well, the middle was fine. He came over to my house. We had some wine. Um, and then towards the end, I went up, uh, I went to, oh my goodness, uh, sorry, I'm getting flustered. I went to 
my kitchen to get another bottle of wine. And then while I'm in there, I hear moaning from my living room. Uh-huh. And I'm like, I'm like, uh, what? What's happened? You starting without me, dude? Like, Whoa. What, what, Whoa. What's Whoa. going on? Whoa. And, uh, but I, I poke, I poke my head around the corner. Oh God, it's so embarrassing. I feel so bad. Um, he's, he's watching porn on my television. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. On your TV? Yep. Yeah. On my television. I like, I just, I don't know. I was super shocked. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I just, like, I still, I still don't even have the words. I'm like, like, what I do you like know? I don't like, either. Wait, what? Yeah. I just, ah, I don't know. I thought it was, you know, like things were going in the right direction for an excellent ending to a first date. I just was like, oh, this is pretty, like, pretty forward. Uh, pretty forward? Like, that's a I, lot I forward. Uh, oh, God. Um, okay. Yeah. So, Tina, like, uh, Jeremy's on the phone with us. Let's patch him in here. Really. Great. Jeremy, were you watching porn on her TV? Oh, oh, no. That uh, sounds like a yes. So that's what this is. Uh, no, uh, no, no. Uh, that's the problem. No, I, I was, but I wasn't. I had been, okay, I had been, I, it was on my phone. And then from earlier in the day, and it was a total mistake. It just, it started sharing to her TV. I don't know how that happened. And that, like, <laughs> by the time I noticed, what I, I, I tried to get it off. I got it off. I didn't know that don't, you saw. Don't say that. I, don't say got it off. No, and back up. Back up. <laughs> I got, okay, so you were trying to watch porn on your phone in her living room, and oh. instead it went to the TV? No, no, no. I was watching it earlier. It was still, I hadn't closed it out. It was still on my phone. I don't know if it's in my pocket. Yeah. It accidentally hit the share button, but it immediately shared to her TV. Yeah. And it was just, I just, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't, I, 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 I didn't think you saw that, Tina. I, I'm sorry. Like I've heard of like pocket dialing. I've never heard of pocket porn. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't want to. Just... I don't know what to say. I, it was a mistake. It was just a mistake. I, no, I, Can you forgive yeah. me? I, I mean, yes. Pause. Question mark. Because it was like really graphic, Jeremy. Like well, real it's graphic porn. and. Like I'm like I'm not super vanilla, but I didn't know. Like, okay, we, we, that that, 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 we do say, not kink shame on our show. Yeah, no, we're not going to go there. But so Tina, I and, don't. And I can tell Jeremy is super embarrassed, and obviously this sucks, I, and I, uh, uh, that this has gone this way. But Tina, can you get past the everything, the situation, the everything, and I mean. I, like I can, but I also like I can't do the things that <laughs> those girls can do. Oh, like okay. I, that. Uh, okay, okay. I can't do okay. that. That is a okay. conversation okay. for you guys at a later to. time. I don't, okay. I don't. I wouldn't ask you to, but I mean, let's just. I mean, at least we could go out again and find out what you're into. We can find out, you know, what I'm into. You kind of already know. Like we could, we can meet a middle ground somewhere. Get get on the line, like next week or something. But like, not right away. Jeremy, stop saying as much words. (laughs) Again, Tina. Are we going out again or not? I just don't know what to say other than that. I, I don't know. I'm like so embarrassed for him and I'm embarrassed for myself. maybe Maybe this is a y'all keep a conversation going separate and we make a decision later. Yeah, you don't have to choose right now. Yeah, I don't want to put you on the spot and make okay. you regret a decision here. This, this, let's do this. Let's, let's. You guys have some no, text. Ba- no, I, no, I am going to put her on the spot. No, guys, because I told you I need an answer because I need to move on with my life, or I need to, you know, I, I would like an answer, Tina. I would like an answer right now. Yes or no? Are we going out again? <laughs> uh, absolutely not, because I. I'm hesitant, and you just forced me to make a decision. Wow, so absolutely dude. You couldn't not. have just okay. waited one day. All right, dude. Thank you. Uh, Goodbye. Oh. All right, Jeremy. Wow. <laughs> Holy shnikes. I can't. I can't. I, know. Um, I can't either. Well, that was uh, okay. Well, Tina, sorry we uh, interrupted your morning, but thank you.
for sharing, and now you can delete Jeremy's number. And thank number you for and- your candor. Yeah, I mean, it's this is a super great story that I love sharing with people now. So <laughs> I'm going to write a book about it.